Alrighty guys, in this video tutorial we'll be looking at the puzzle um, generator. Let's have a quick intro here. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We have a variety of different softwares we do cover and we upload videos daily. So um, just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise we're we'll head back in the program here. Just a uh, just so you guys know, if you're going to be working with a puzzle um, generator, rather work in inches, as the preview um, adding an image at the moment only works in inches. So that's under your document properties. Then uh, you just go here to units and you set that to inches. Otherwise, to locate the effect, we click on effects on top. We navigate down to we find the puzzle generator. Click this and then with a pop up, we have a few settings here. So the first one will be the width and height. So you want to set this the same as your image. So just um, open your image in some form of photo editor and then just look what is the um, width and height in inches. Then, uh, so at the moment mine's already set correct. And then we go here to corner and um, radius. So if we set this up, maybe to about two, click update preview. You can see it starts rounding the outer corner so you can get the more you run this the more you can get like a kitty type looking puzzle so uh, let's just keep mine maybe about one then what we have next is columns and rows so this will be basically the columns and rows and at the end the amount of pieces you have on your board so uh, in my case I'm just going to make my um, columns 12 and my rows 9 just so easily readable for this uh, demo as you can see there you can nicely see what's happening and then variance this will be the variance in the puzzle shapes and so forth so uh, the higher the amount the more variance there is so i'll just click update and you can just see it's quite a changes every time otherwise when you're satisfied with your your um, preview you just click ok and then it will make your uh, cut here so if we go to preview we'll see there's the cut lines so now to get an actual photo in here, what you want to do is make sure your um, puzzle selected. Then we go to the full and um, or stroke and full panel. You're on the right. Then uh, we want to go under the full and we set this to a pattern. And then under the patterns pop up panel or the then uh, we'll go to load image. You go to load image again this button and then you locate your image, which in my case already preloaded it then next up which is quite important that's why we have to set our things inches because at the moment the size only reads in inches so then uh, then we want to set these ones the same as our canvas so it will be 26.6 and 17.7 we click preview There you go. Now we have nice little pattern here. So if you take it to the cutters, you can have a, a you have your own puzzle. Otherwise, if we head to our website here, so if you guys go to vinylcut.co.za, uh, the program is freely available here. Just navigate to downloads, and then you'll see it's available for Mac and line. Oh, sorry, Mac and Windows. And then otherwise, if you guys go to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys can uh, find this video and more like it. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. You can also isolate your search here. Or um, if you don't find what you're looking for, just go request a training video and we will make that for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.